Hey, it's Nancy Jones here, your master facilitator, and I have a question. Are you in religion or relationship? Is there a difference? And if so, what is it? Let's get into it. Okay, okay, okay. This is one of my favorite subjects when it comes to faith. What is the difference between religion and relationship? Now, I have my own ideas and perceptions and thoughts and definitions of religion and relationships, but let's just be safe and go to Google. Okay, so Google says that religion is, okay, it has a few, a few definitions. So, a particular system of faith or worship. A particular system of faith and worship. Okay, so let's look up system. A set of principles or procedures according to which something is done. An organized framework or method. Boom. An organized framework or method. A system is an organized framework or method. So religion is an organized framework or method in regards to faith and worship. Okay, let's just define it like that. Okay, perfect. Now, what is relationship? Okay, so relationship is a state of being connected by blood or marriage. Connection, okay? What else? The way in which two or more people or groups regard and behave towards each other. Ooh, I like that. The way people two parties behave towards each other and regard each other. So one sounds a lot more personal and intimate and vulnerable while the other one sounds a lot more rigid and structured and safe, okay? In my opinion. Now, my personal experience with religion, being raised in the Christian household, I'm still a believer in the Bible and practice the principles in the Bible. I do not consider myself a religious person as I do a person of faith who has a relationship with God, the Supreme Being, through Jesus Christ. So I know it's like splitting hairs, tomato, tomato, but the reason I bring it up is because I find that in my walk, in my faith life, I meet two different types of Christians. And I'm going to use Christian just so that you know we're talking about people who believe in Jesus Christ who follow the Bible. Okay, there are religious people who believe in Jesus Christ and follow the Bible. And then there are people who are more relationship oriented who believe in Jesus Christ and follow the Bible. And there is a difference. And there are people who kind of teeter-totter back and forth. <clears throat> and I'm not saying at all that religion does not have a place. It's a nice foundation. It is a framework. And the Bible talks about a true religion, a pure religion, okay? But we also know there are a lot of other religions out there. So if we just look at Christianity like just another option on the religion menu, we got a problem because it's more than that. If we really believe that our God is the God, we, we can't just see Christianity as another religion like Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, all that kind of stuff, okay? We are more than just a selection on the menu or the list of religions. That's the problem, that's the issue. So religion, a structured framework, a system, relationship, a connectivity, a regarding for another person, a behavior towards another person. I've been both. In my personal walk, I have been both religion oriented and relationship oriented. I have found that being relationship oriented has served me more than being religion oriented. Religion taught me history. It taught me rules. It taught me also how to judge myself and judge others. It taught me structure. There are good and bad things in religion, but I needed more than religion. I needed more than a list of rules of do's and don'ts. I needed more than a place to go to every Sunday at 11 o'clock. 
I needed more than some stockings and a, and a hot dress. I live in Florida. Everything was hot. I needed more as I grew in my faith. I just needed more. I went through a phase where I was sitting in church and I was just numb. I didn't know what was going on. I would pray about it. God, what is going on? What's happening to me? Why do I not want to be here? And what was revealed to me is that God is more than what happens within the four walls. No disrespect to the four walls. The church building, church services, these worship services and the organization and the religion and the 501c3, all that has a place. It has value, yes, but that is not the only thing that God is using. That's not the only thing that God is using to serve us, to build us up, and to utilize us and propel us out into the world so that we can make an impact. We need relationship. That was the whole thing about Jesus Christ in the New Testament. He came to relate to us. He came to connect with us. He came to regard us in a certain way. He came to behave a certain way in front of us and set an example to walk out and be a living, breathing example of the law of God. Not just the law of God, but the love of God. And you know what? That relationship that Christ was developing with the people of God came smack up against religion. And religion did not appreciate the Christ, the relationship that he was developing with the world. I pray that through your walk, as you develop your faith and as you continue to believe, and I'll talk about this more. I just wanted to introduce this idea. I pray that you lean more towards relationship, that you begin to regard God as a father and that you be honest with him and you allow him to change you and that you have the faith to believe that he can bring out of you all of the things that he developed and put in you when he created you. Lean more towards the faith. Don't completely disregard religion. Respect religion for what it has been and what it is but put it in its place. Your relationship with God is more important than practices, rules, and framework. Your relationship with God is what allows him to move you, to lead and guide you every day when church is not open. You need him Monday through Friday, not just on Sunday. You need him Monday through Saturday too, not just on Sunday. That's where relationship matters. I hope that this video compels you to lean into God, to become closer to him, to develop your relationship with him and show and allow him to show you how he wants you to walk out your life every single day. I pray that you develop the intimacy that you need to live a life of fulfillment that is rooted in his will. See you next time.